See, if they see things the way they see it, but I'm doing all this selling, they don't see it differently and they can feel me selling them. This is what's missing in the world. No one does this, but I do this. Now, I can unleash on his ass. teaching people to be public speakers. Hey, you're a public speaker. You're a public speaker. You're a public speaker. Hey, and every and I'm looking at you. I'm like, listen, how old are you? 28. You're 28 years old. Most people that own homes are somewhere between 35, 45, 55 years old, right? You could be a lot of these people's kids. Am I right? Okay, so if he looks like a kid and he goes to someone's door, they could be like, oh, this is my kid. I'm not going to listen to him. Some of you in here, you're, you're too young. That's why you got to be really good at speaking. If they respect you, if they can believe that you're, by the way you speak, you're educated, you're smart, you know something they, that they need to know, they're going to give you time. You need to understand everybody's at a different age in their life and a different point, but skill overrides everything. That's why we train. Whose job is it to make people get addicted to training? You guys. So that's what I started to do. I started to train these guys. And then I worked my way up to making about two and a half million bucks. Now, I want to tell you guys something. I'm making two and a half million I was like, dude, I made it. Then this happened, 39 years old. And I want to get to this because this is so important. Who in here is in a relationship with somebody? Okay, like most of us. Who in here is not in a relationship with somebody? Who in here doesn't raise their hand at all or who can't raise their hand past their, their head? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, dude, like, listen, so most of you are in a relationship. So I go home one day to my wife and I want to explain success. What's success to you guys? This is what I'm here to talk to you guys about today. Do you guys want to build a team and have them with you in 10 years from now? Yes or no? Okay. If you want to do that, then you need to listen to me and you need to understand this. You need to build people. You need to build this company as a standard, as a unit, as an army, that how people operate at work is how they also operate at home. You're building people to have a great life all in general. You're teaching people how to live. You're teaching people things that no one has ever cared to teach them before. When you show someone you care about them more than anyone else, when you show them, are you guys in a relationship? You say, yeah. Do you think your team is gonna be in a relationship with somebody, yes or no? Okay, is it your job to teach them how to make money? Yes, it is. Whose job is it to teach them how to lead a relationship? It should be yours, but it's probably not you. I'm gonna tell you how we dominate. I decided one day, after my wife was direct, because I tell you, that's how she operates with me. And by the way, most of you won't change until you really screw your life up. People will have to lose something before they decide to wake up. There's this thing called when the pain overrides the fear of change, people will finally change. When the pain gets so high that you're like, dude, I don't care how embarrassed I get, I'm going to change now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change right now. That's when usually the greatest part of all of you come out, okay? And by the way, like, my wife is everything to me. She, dude, but I was taught, I was taught by these shitty leaders that success was making money if you train your team on money hey you want to work for me I'll make you a lot of money you want to make a lot of money go ahead train them that way don't be surprised when they get recruited to go work for another company for more money because you train them on money you train them that this was all about money so when they leave you didn't you teach them whoever pays the most they should go work for good job Good job building your team to stay with you and then leave when someone gives them an offer. I'm going to reverse this. I'm going to show you how I lead. When you work for me, I'm going to make you so great, you're going to have 20 job offers a day. Do you understand it? When you knock on people's doors, you know what they're going to say? Oh, my God. Listen, I don't know why you're selling solar. I want you to come work for me and my company. That's when you did a good job. That's what you should be doing. I demand my team to, to try to get recruited all day, every day. I want them so good that the rest of the world knows how good they are, so they're constantly trying to hire them. But they're, un but they're unhirable. Do you know why? They don't work for money. You say, what does that mean? They don't work for money. Well, I'll explain it to you. Everybody's gonna do life with someone. So I show my team how to have the greatest relationship on planet Earth with the person they love. Me and my wife, we are super close together. We are battle mates. We go to war. 
She's my queen, she's also my battle mate. I do everything with her. I take such good care of her. I include her in every conversation, every battle, every goal, everything. We train together, we grow together, we fight together, we, we do everything together. We will freaking lose together, we will win together. We can lose it all, we'll get it all back. Doesn't matter. I show my team, yeah. Has it always been that way? No. Hey guys, we'll get back to the video in a sec. If you're watching this video because you wanna level up in life and business, then one thing you gotta do is optimize your sleep. One in three people worldwide reported not getting enough good sleep every night. A big part of the why? Mouth breathing. Luckily for you, our sponsor, Hostage Tape, is your best friend when it comes to sleeping. If you're like me, you've probably also struggled with everything from insomnia, dry mouth, restlessness, snoring, headaches, sore throat, and even waking up with mental fog and grogginess because of mouth breathing by sleeping and didn't even know it. Poor sleep affects essentially every area of your health, wealth, and happiness. With hostage tape, you simply peel off a piece of breathable fabric, place it over your mouth before bed, and voila! Several hours later, you wake up feeling refreshed and energized. If you're ready to feel focused, clear-minded, and energized, go visit hostagetape.com backslash Elliot and get yours today. Thanks to Hostage Tape for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the show. No, because at 39 years old, I walked in the door and my wife goes, hey, just want to be honest with you. Like, me and the kids have learned to live without you. Like, 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 you go to work at 7 in the morning, you come home at 11 at night. I'm a good wife. You know, my, my wife used to keep the kids up till 11 at night, not put them to bed. And her friends would be like, why do you keep the kids up so late? Like, that's not healthy for the kids. My wife's like, well, it's unhealthy for my kids to grow up without a father. So, no thanks. All these little things, all these sacrifices she made, honestly, I, I was trained success was money. And by the way, who leads you and who trains you will determine who you become. It's the truth, it's the power of proximity. That's why this group, this meeting right now is probably the most important meeting of y'all's life. Your next five, 10 years will all determine how you guys operate when you leave this room. It'll, it'll all operate how you guys operate together. Whether you guys are direct face to face to each other and you guys work through every problem or you guys talk shit on each other and you self-sabotage the whole company. You guys gotta understand, man, if someone wins, no one wins. If someone on this team wins, no one wins. If a husband and a wife or boyfriend and a girlfriend are fighting, if someone makes the other person feel bad, like, how would that make you feel if someone walked and told your girl she was a bitch at the gas station? <laughs> You'd kill them. But you're gonna make her feel like she's a bitch? You're doing the same thing that you wouldn't want anyone to do to her. People hurt the people they care about the most. And they don't do it on purpose. They learned it from someone. They learned it from the way you grew up, the relationships you've been through, the shit that's happened. Now, as I'm talking to you and you're understanding this, now I want you to understand your whole team goes through this shit too. So if you can master you, if you can create self-mastery, if you can create self-awareness that this shit is happening to you, now you can fix you, it inspires them, and then they want to be like you, they look up to you, and now you change them and you teach them. If you can change you, you can change all of them. This is the greatest leadership training you'll ever hear in the world, because this is the truth. If you want your team to stay with you forever, they're gonna to need to have a great personal life and their relationships are gonna to have to be on fire. Who's gonna show them? You. So your relationship better be badass. So you say, well, how do I do that, Andy? Well, you start plugging into relationship training. You start learning how to have a great marriage. You start learning how to communicate with your, with your partner. You make sure your, your person you're with is your best friend. You make sure that everything you do, you train together, you learn together. You go, now, let's go to another part. God is important. I understand. I am not like everybody else. It's not like you're going to see me in a Sunday school. But I am a godly man. I love God. I fear God. I understand God's the foundation of me and my wife and our family. We wouldn't be where we are without him, and I'm super thankful for him every freaking day. I am a person that easily gets triggered. Truth be told, I hate losing. So when something's not going my way, I want to trip shit. So at the beginning of every day, I have to wake up before I go to my phone, before I do anything, and I have to be grateful. I, I have to. It, it, watch. I go to work, something doesn't go right, it's a test day, 
I just lost my best customer, had some cancellations, arguing with my wife, money's not right. There's some guy quits, something happens, bam! First thing I want to do is attack. That's not good. That's not me. That's not a good me. That's not the good. That's, that, that worked good when I was a salesman. That worked good here when it was just me. But now I got to communicate with other people. That's not good for me. I can't do that. That's not, that's not the leader, man. Now, if I do that, I teach them how to do that now. What will they do? Number one, I'm going to self-sabotage my life. They're going to self-sabotage theirs. I wake up and I be grateful every day. I have to be. It's good for me. And once I do that, no matter what happens after that, I'm good. I'm happy. I'm not worried about it. Listen, I said find the good in everything. If something just happened, somebody just sends me a text message, it's the worst news ever. Instead of saying, oh my God, I can't believe that and going to stress, I'm going to say, there has to be some good in this somewhere. Okay? There has to be some good in this somewhere. I need to find that. Guys, what is sales? Sales is perspective. It's changing the way the client sees your product. You're not changing your product. You're changing the way the client sees your product. Does that make sense? <laughs> all I do is when I sell you, all I do is give you my eyes, put them in your head, and I'm like, you see what I'm saying? And they're like, oh, I see it. And I'm like, cool, let's wrap this up. I just get them to see things the way I see it. I, I don't need to sell them. See, if they see things the way they see it, but I'm doing all this selling, they don't see it differently, and they can feel me selling them. So I change and alter their perspective, how they see it. That's what we do. We, I literally change the way that I see life now. So at 39, my wife says, hey, we've learned to live without you. Hey, and by the way, some of you, if I'm saying some things to you right now, I'm telling you, high producer, let's say she's kicking ass and she's in a relationship. What happens if her and her boyfriend break up right now? She's screwed for 60 days. Do you get it? Now, if I, if I coach her and train her right, the way she should be treated, hey, life isn't always going to be fair. If you want a great marriage, you want a great relationship, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. But the, the most beautiful things are worth fighting for, okay? But there's also a time, if maybe this, this, or this has happened, if he's cheating on you, that's a time to leave. And you're better than that, so we're going to do that. But if it was just a fight, we got to get over it. You and him got to get through that. You guys got to learn how to fight. You know what I'm saying? You never leave the room when you're in a fight. Did you leave the room? Yeah, I said I needed a break. Well, that pissed him off because it showed him you were going to quit. You should have stayed in the room and said, we're not leaving until we figure this out because I don't want to be without you and you don't want to be without me. Am I right? So maybe we don't say anything for 10 minutes, but we're going to stay together. That changes everything. Changes everything. Who's going to teach him to do that? It has to be the leader. Schools teach us nothing. It teaches us nothing. Nobody teaches anybody the real shit they need in life. So I'm going to teach the, the, the five things I think are important. I'm going to teach how to have a relationship with the person they're with because I know if my, if my team has a bad personal life, okay, they're going to wreck everything in their company. And by the way, I need them to have a good personal life. I need their family to know, watch this curveball. I need their family to know that when they're with me, I'm making them a better man or a better woman for their family. Like, I have meetings every month, leaders, listen, I have meetings every month with my team's spouses, boyfriends, or girlfriends. Not my team. I'm like, we love you guys. I want your boyfriend. Where's he at? Because I want to tell him my plans for you. I want to tell them the big picture, financially where we can go, what we can do, the standards we're trying to hold. The way that we're trying to operate at work is so that we could go home and operate like that at home. I need you to tell me if she's not operating that way. I need you to let me know because I want to help you with that because I love your family. Does that make sense? Is this a good leader? Can you guys all do this? Can you become this? Okay, in the beginning it's new, but then you become it. You can't get your team to do something you can't do. You can't get your team to become something you're not. You must become the real mother F and deal. That's, that's the secret. Become the realest thing that anyone's ever had in their entire life and don't let them down. And if you make a mistake, own it. The greatest thing a leader can do is say, hey, I didn't mean to do that. Listen, listen hey, if you say something and you're like, that was stupid, I shouldn't have said that. Say, I didn't mean to say that. Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that to you. I got mad. That isn't what I meant. You don't deserve it. 
and I'm telling you I'm sorry. When you do that, you know what kind of respect you get from people? This is what's missing in the world. No one does this, but I do this. I didn't always do this, but at 39, I decided something clicked. I'm praying today that some of you in here can get this to click. Hey, if it doesn't click, I just want to tell you, you know the play you've been running before I came in? You know what you've been doing? You keep running that play, exactly what you got in life right now is exactly what you'll have next year. If I come in today with a new play and you run this play, you guys just dominated the whole industry. Now, God's super important to me. I won't push it off on anybody, but I just tell people, listen, I believe in God. I don't know whether you believe or what your religion is, but God is love, so I'm going to love you. I'm always going to love you, and there's nothing you can do that will make me not love you. Never. I'm going to get that out of the way, and I'm going to make sure that you understand that. Physical fitness. This is super important to me, okay? When people look in the mirror, they got to like themselves. Wouldn't you guys agree? Yeah. You know what I learned? A lot of people really don't have a very good relationship with themselves. It's the truth. Look, dude, the results you have in life right now is because of what you believe that you're capable of doing or what you believe that you're worth. You'll never out-earn your own self-worth. You'll never out-earn your own self-image. So one of the things that I do when I'm around people is that I make them see a different person than they've ever seen. I make them get in the gym and grind. I, I make them hit the gym before the sun come up. Well, a couple of reasons. We are in sales, and when you go to the gym, you're in a better mood for the next 12 hours. I think it's pretty important to be in a good mood. Also, I've never walked into the gym in the morning, especially early, and been like, God, I'm so glad I'm here. Usually I hate it in the beginning. But when I walk out, I'm like, damn, dude, I would have sucked if I would have missed today. Like, like, I feel so good right now. And then if a dude cuts me off, gives me the fingers, like, dude, you're a piece of shit, like, I don't even get triggered. I'm like, dude, love you. God bless you and your family. Have a blessed day. But if I skip the gym and that dude gives me the finger and cuts me off, I might jump out of my car. The gym is my medicine. There's this thing called mental. So I go physical, <laughs> mental, business. If I can kill it physically, mentally, I'm going to be fit. And then business, oh, shit, man. Dude. You, and by the way, you guys want to be around good looking people, right? One of the things I learned you can't change is your face. I can't change my face, but I can change my body. I can't, your body's so cool. My, so my family is 300 to 500 pounds. I want everybody to understand this. When I say I broke generational curses, I didn't break just broke. I broke trash can mindsets I broke being overweight. I broke all that. Now, I want to tell you something. Every day, you know that old you? That person is lurking back there. Saying, come on back, man. Come on back. Because at the end of the day, like I tell Aaron all the time, was my workout partner, I want, to, I want to be a fat guy. I want to eat everything. I want to eat the whole house. I want to. And I know what will happen when I do. My family has been very clear to show me what happens when I do that. I don't have good genes. You know what I know? I know that when you self-develop, you crush everyone. Learn to make good decisions. What's good for me? What's bad for me? Okay? Does a relationship go further when you show each other love? Can you drive a, far, a car farther when you put gas in it? What happens when your car runs out of gas? What do you do? Do you sell it or do you go to the gas station and put gas in it? Yes. Some people are so stupid they sell it. Some people, they, get, they, they work hard on this guy. I'm, he's on my team. I'm trying to build him up. Then he does something. I'm like, all right, that's it. I'm going to fire him. You know what? That little ego sh you got, you quit on him now. There's a lot of people that should have quit on you a long time ago. But someone stayed with you, and now you're going to stay with him. And you're going to go coach him. You're all coaches. You guys are all coaches. Some of you don't look like coaches, which is why you got to get in the gym. You got to look like the example. You got to talk like you have authority. You got to talk like you're a winner. You don't talk like you're uncertain. Losers are uncertain. Winners are certain. You go in there and you freaking become who you're supposed to become. That's, that's the secret. So I, I focus on my relationship. My team has bad relationships. They've never had a good one. Now they have a great one because we've been the standard.
and we tell them how important their family is. I tell them, I say, hey, listen to me. Nothing's more important than your family, not even us. Okay? I will always demand you're good to your family. By the way, I tell them, if you cheat on your family, I will fire you. Let me see you be bad to your family and you can't be with me no more. How you treat them is how you treat me. See, th this is a whole different ideology. And people say, oh, that's bullshit. I can do what I want. You can go somewhere else. You can go somewhere else. But there is a slew. There's millions of people dying to be a part of this. There's millions of people that are dying to be in a freaking crowd of people that could help them become their best self. Okay? And so I'm going to go, we got God, we got your relationships, we got your fitness. Um, super important. I like to look in the mirror and be proud of me. So that's a big deal. I like to tell my team, I want you to be proud of you. And then also I teach them how to have things like self-esteem. How do you get self-esteem? How do you get it? Uh, Just tell me. Like, give me a quick answer because you got to be the dictionary for people. Do. Yep, by doing what you say you're going to do. You paid attention, you listened, you probably wrote it down, didn't you? Once you write it down, you own it now. Once you do what you say you're going to do, your body believes that you're a person that's going to execute anything that you say you're going to do because you continually, daily prove that you do it. It doesn't matter which level you do it at, but you at least execute on it. And self-esteem starts to build. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. You got to teach your team how to do this. You guys are the trainers. You're the trainer. You're the trainer. You're the trainer. You're the teacher. You're the coach. Do you want to be a weenie coach or a hard coach? Listen to me. I'm very direct, but I wear my heart on my sleeve. I make sure I tell people, like, I love you. I ask people, hey, listen, before we start this meeting, do you want me to treat you like a three, four, five-year-old, feed you ice cream and make you feel good? Or do you want me to treat you like the badass I know you're supposed to be? Which one? Badass. Okay, can I be direct with you? Yes, sir. Can, can I have permission to positively peer pressure you to become great? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, I can unleash on his ass. No, but he wants it because I framed him and programmed him. The conversation we're about to have is going to be a tough one and only tough love builds great people. See, see, as I'm talking to you, because my language is on point, you're like, I like that. I want to be a part of that. So it goes back to sales. How do you speak? How do you talk? You want to know how to get great? This is the key. 39, I get on the internet and this is what I saw. I saw a whole bunch of people that were really good at what they did. And I didn't realize that you could actually, and this is silly, but I didn't realize you could actually get on there and study people. And they would tell you how they built their businesses, how they built their teams. I never even knew who Tony Robbins was. And I was 39, I get on there, I start watching him. I'm like, damn, I like that guy. And then I start watching, you know, uh, Ed Milet. I start watching David Goggins. I start watching these guys and I'm like, okay, okay, hold on. I'm gonna take a little bit of him, I'm gonna take a little bit of him, I'm gonna take a little bit of him, I'm gonna take a, and I'm gonna build my identity. You know the coolest thing about all of you in here? Is you guys can all change your identity that fast. Now, I'm gonna tell you how you feed your identity. If you don't feed a plant, it dies. One ounce of strychnine in a cup, cup of coffee will kill you. One, one drop. You gotta guard your mind. You can't have anything toxic in your life. You gotta audit the people in your life, you gotta audit the places you go, and you gotta audit the way you talk to yourself. Th this, is, this is what you have to do for you, and then you must train other people to do this. When I start studying these people, you know what I realized? I can become whoever I wanna become. And dude, I did it. I, I never was on social media. I've never had a social media account. I wanna show you guys how amazing people are. And this is how I want you to understand how people can do. If I want you to sell 100 solar deals a month, he could sell 100. I don't give a shit about anything except what does he think. If you, look, and I say things like this and people don't like it. Okay, do you love your mom? Yeah. Okay, so I would say, because see, remember, I'm a back against the wall person. So I'd say, hey, you know, if I kidnapped your mom and I said I was going to kill her, unless you sold 100 solar deals, would you sell 100? Yeah. Uh, okay, but my point is, why does someone have to kidnap his mom? See, it's already in him. It, it's already in him. If, if he gets pushed hard enough, 
and there's enough stake at risk, he'll do whatever the hell he wants. How do you get yourself in that place without having someone kidnap your mom, without having someone take something from you? How do you guys stay angry, pissed off, loving, and fired up all the time? It's very simple. You self-develop. You train. You stop listening to music. You start listening to self-development. If you're a leader, you listen to leadership training. All sorts of it. You listen to people who are different than you, who have different ideologies than you. Everybody has something you can take from everything. And then when you hear it, you write it down. And once you write it down, you memorize it and you become it and you skill stack. Dude, skill smokes talent. Skill smokes hard work, okay? Can you work more than 15 hours a day? Nope. Either can I. But if we're both working 15 hours, we're both working our ass off, but I'm more skilled than you, I'm gonna crush you. So you can only work so much. So if you were to say, some of you need to work harder. I agree, we got people in the room that don't work very hard. They were like, dude, you need to work harder. But who you become will outgrow how hard and how long you work. If you can hit 100 doors and close 50, well, then you don't have to knock 100 to sell. It's like, it's all, it's all skill. What do you guys do for a living? You speak, right? So most of you have been speaking since you're one years old. I see people at 21 still can't shake a hand. I see people at 21 still can't influence or persuade someone to, to, to give them something. So I'm all about communication. What we are is master communicators, okay? And by the way, if you're not interested in what I'm saying, you're not qualified to be the leader. You're in charge of a downline, but you are not a leader. And by the way, if the team doesn't choose you as the leader, you won't stay the leader because they'll all leave you. And once they start leaving you, who wants to have an underperforming team? Not me. That makes me sick. The way to show your team that they can become whoever they want to become is by you becoming it first and saying, and you don't say, look at me. You say, guys, if you notice, I'm gonna go on the self-development journey and I want you to go with me. And from this point forward, we're never gonna be the same again. And you take them with you, just like you take your wife with you on goals. And I'll say one more thing. I'm gonna go over this last thing with you. How fast can people learn? Well, I didn't even get on social media. My wife gave me my cell phone. She goes, Andy, take your cell phone, hit the video button. I've never recorded anything in my life other than my children playing. And she goes, you're gonna get on social media and you're gonna start making content. How many of you in here have got on social media and made content? Raise your hand. A lot of you have. Is it hard to build your brand? Is it hard to build a channel? Is it hard to build a big social media following? It is. I mean, and by the way, you may say, well, it's not that hard. Well, how many followers do you have? 12,000. That's like one person makes 50 grand a year, one person makes 50 grand a month, one person makes 50 grand an hour, one per person makes 50 grand a minute. It's all perspective. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I asked him, how many followers do you have? He says, uh, I have 12,000. We get 150 million views every 30 days on social media. I want, I want you to understand this. I wasn't the social media guy. I started practicing. As I learned the self-development, I started to get better. I started to see a different person every day. My results started to change. All the people that I knew in my life, other than my wife or children, didn't support me in this change. They had labeled me. They had put me in a box. They had put boundaries on me and themselves. And because I was breaking those boundaries, they didn't like that. You guys are gonna have to leave when you change a lot of the people that you know in your life for a couple of years. Because when you go to change, it's the old crabs in the bucket. When you guys go to change, people ain't gonna like it. You guys feel me? And I'm gonna finish on this, okay? This is the most important thing I think that all of you understand. There's two parts of it. And you need to understand both sides. An individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. You guys are only as strong as your team. Your team is everything. Every single one of you needs to be pushing each other and showing each other what's capable and how fast you can change another individual on the team, how fast you can change your team, 
how close you can say. When somebody does something you don't like, if she does something you don't like, don't tell him. Tell her. Say, hey, I didn't like it when you did that. At least she'll respect you. If you tell him, she hates you now. By the way, it doesn't matter if what was said was true or not. What matters is, why didn't you tell her? Because you're a coward. Cowards can't have face-to-face -face conversations. You don't have to get confrontational. Just be like, hey, there was something that happened and I don't like it. So I want you to hear me out and then let's figure out how to fix it. I didn't like it when you did this. Well, I can't believe it. Hey, I didn't come to you for us to get mad. I came to us to solve the problem. And I want us to have close enough of a relationship that I can come to you and talk about something when something's bothering me. We would actually have a problem if I didn't come to you and I went and told some other people about something you did. That would probably piss you off, am I right? I came to you because I know you're a good, watch me, I know you're a good person. Me and you may not be the closest in the company, but I know you don't want to hurt anybody in the company. Okay, so I'm giving us an opportunity to work on a relationship right now. I didn't like it when you did this. I wanted you to know that it bothered me and I just, I don't want it to happen again. There doesn't need to be a, a reaction. There doesn't need to be a big shakeup. I just want to tell you, people will at least respect your ass for being a good person. Is this true leadership? Who's going to teach your team to do this? You guys. If you guys aren't operating in, everybody say standards. 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 It's not Andy Elliott, it's you, it's standards, it's your life. It's the way you live, it's the way you believe. And don't give me that bullshit, you don't know how I was raised, shut your mouth, okay? You can become whoever you want, all the other bullshit is excuses. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.